So when you look at the result screen, what can we see? We have some curves, the graphical display can change, but we have also a lot of numbers, abbreviations of parameters, and we need to understand what is the meaning of these parameters. When going back to physiology, what are we interested in? We are interested in the blood flow and determinants of blood flow and lung water. So where do we find in the result screen information on the blood flow? The blood flow is represented by the cardiac index. And when we are looking at cardiac index, we need to know the determinants. The determinants of cardiac index are the preload, preload volume, which is represented here with the global and diastolic volume index. And when we talk about preload and fluid status, we may also consider to have a look at the stroke volume variation, but of course this is, requires a patient under fully controlled mechanical ventilation. The next part is the afterload, which is shown here as systemic vascular resistance index measured continuously. And what about contractility? In this example, we have two of the contractility parameters indicated, cardiac function index and cardiac power index. And finally, one of the unique things from the PICO technology information on the lung status, extravascular lung water index and pulmonary vascular probability index. So in summary, we have a broad range of information, the whole picture, the complete picture on the hemodynamic situation of the patient. We have information on the blood flow, determinants of the blood flow, the preload status, possibly volume responsiveness. We have information on the afterload, contractility, and also information on the lung status. It is also important to mention that this is it is very important to look at the trending of the parameters, means repeating measurements, especially to get updates for those values which are only derived from the thermal dilution measurement, which are derived intermittently.